Hi everyone, uh, this is Shelly Tsai, and uh, I'm one of the PM team's uh, members. And uh, today we are going to share some information about factory automation. First of all, let us uh, uh, let me introduce about the uh, background of the Cornish and the Bear in Electronics. Bear Corporation headquarters is in Sweden. And uh, Bear Electronics is an innovation company within operator communication, automation solutions, digitalization, and dis display solutions. Cornis uh, established in 2004 year and joined the Bear Corporation in 2011. And Cornis is global leading manufacturer providing market uh, uh, focus industry wide and wireless uh, network solution. So uh, Bear and the Cornish could provide the total solution uh, of, with the industrial. And uh, uh, what we are focused on in, uh, is in the energy, marine, building, water, uh, infrastructure, transportation, and the manufacturing uh, for all those of the industrial. And for the factory automation, the global factory automation market size is expecting to reach uh, 36,000 million in 2025. And uh, it's around grounded at the compound annual growth rate of the 8.8% from the 2018 to the 2025. And this is a lot of opportunity for the uh, switch and the other device for the factory automations are booming. And the factory automation, uh, this is the simple uh, factory automation network typology. Actually, uh, we have the device uh, device layer, connection layer, and the information layer. Veteran uh, automation requires data from the each machine transferred to the managing system in order to monitor, control, factory production line. In the factory switch, usually will be the installed in one company with a DIN reel. This is why industry switch will be designed with a DIN clip, compact, and with the higher resistance in the vibration and uh, EMI and EMS. And uh, this is a very simple outline of the automation network architect. And then uh, from on this slide, you can see uh, there's a device layer, control layer, and the information layer. And uh, in the following, we are going to separate in each layer to uh, produce uh, some of the background of the, these uh, layers and uh, uh, how we can uh, install the switch in the, those year, uh, in those layers. Uh, for the device layer, for this uh, device layer, they have the transmitters, remote I.O., or the sensors. Uh, they are going to have the RS uh, series, uh, series data and the need to convert to internet uh, data for the, uh, collect, uh, for the uh, transport layer and the information layer to collect their information about the machine's uh, status. So uh, usually you need the uh, jet port uh, to transfer the our, our serious device, our serious data into the um, internet switch, and uh, or uh, transfer the RS two thirty two data to the RS of four A five data. So it will be the change of the data, uh, serial data to the internet switch. So information layers uh, can know about the machine status. And uh, uh, for the Cornish device layer adapters, uh, we have uh, Jack Counts uh, series uh, for this one, 2201. Uh, it is uh, transferred for the two, 232 to the uh, 422 and the 485 series uh, uh, information. And for the Jack port, it will be the change uh, the series data into the internet data. It will help the information layer to know about the uh, machine status.
for the uh, automation network architecture controller. Controller layer, uh, usually uh, in the industrial uh, in the in the industrial field, the production line, uh, they will be installed a machine or a switch in the thin rail mount, and uh, they as the machine they have the vibration during the uh, production so you must uh, have the higher anti-vibration to make sure the data can be transferred to the control uh, control layer to the information layer and due to uh, the switch was stored in the cabinet they have a uh, higher temperatures in the cabinet so for the industrial switch uh, they usually design with the wide operating temperature and the fully profile covers are managing layer two and the trees so uh, they can uh, transfer each data from the device layer to control layer to the information layers uh, due to different uh, production lines of uh, portfolio we have a uh, different port uh, combination for customer to choose. So uh, they have the seven models for system architecture selection. And control layers connect you with the uh, uh, many switch, usually uh, with the um, HMI remote IO inverter, PC selection and other internet based devices. And uh, they can use the uh, Amini switch from them to the control layer, or uh, they have the uh, far due to the difference, data is uh, different. So we have the fast or gigabit for customer to choose, and the different port for customer in different uh, field to choose. So uh, if a POC want to uh, transfer the data to the information layers, those uh, those are uh, many switch for them uh, to choose. And as, especially uh, for the 205, we have the C1D models available for them to choose. And this is our managed rail switch profile. As you can see, there's a uh, five and eight port fast internet. And then uh, for right hand side, there will be the gigabit. And for the 18 poles, uh, they have the three uh, combo uh, gigabit. And the, uh, for the, the other poles, there will be the fast incident for customer to choose. And the control network was redundant. Uh, sometimes the industrial factory automation industrial, they need redundant to in case um, some uh, breakdown of the network but uh, information cannot get uh, get information from the uh, device layer. So we have the redundant to uh, prevent this uh, network are broken, uh, and, but uh, information knows uh, what states of the uh, device layer. So uh, for the managed switch, the more, more important things is they can have the redundant uh, uh, features uh, instead of the unmanaged. So, uh, then uh, the coin is uh, doing real managed switch. They have up to the 10 ports for the L2 and the three is a managed switch. And uh, they also have a different speed, fast internet and four gigabit, uh, four gigabit internet switch for customer to uh, choose. And uh, as we said, said before, um, in a factory automation, they need the higher temperature. Uh, so we also design with the robust and a wide temperature for the, those uh, unmanaged switch. And uh, due to some field side uh, from each uh, production line to the other part of, part of production line, uh, sometimes they were over 100 meters. So we have the fiber choice uh, for the customer to choose in the different uh, factory applications. And this is the main managers which uh, main focus, uh, you, as you can see, unlike a managed switch, they just plug and play. So there is uh, nothing uh, we can set up for a managed switch. They only can transfer the data from one from device layer to the uh, information layer. But the managed switch, they have more features for the customer to uh, in, to do the setup 
for such as uh, network control. Uh, for the network controls, uh, uh, like jumbon frame, uh, because some of the frame, like video, they have a, a bigger size of the frame than the others. So uh, when they transfer the data, like uh, such a big uh, frame, sometimes it cannot be uh, transferred with the normal. So uh, usually we have to uh, do the jumbo frame. And the network management, uh, it will help the customer to check uh, what is the status of the network. And uh, does it uh, any wrong in the uh, our switch or the network like a uh, fiber link down or something like that. And then they will also have the uh, diagnose and monitor like flow control, red control. Then you can see uh, what, uh, what is the status of the networks are red. And the security network redundant. The network redundant is also the other most important things for energy switch. It will uh, prevent the uh, the data will be broken due to the wire or the other one switch. So they can do uh, they can transfer the data from the another switch. And the security is also another good point for the for you to choose manager switch. So they have the SSHS and the L2 uh, access control list. So you can uh, put in uh, what kind of the switch or device can access to the switch. And then for the L3, they have the uh, most important thing uh, except the L2 is the routing. So this is a different, uh, this is the main function between our manager L2 and L3. But for the further details you want to know, please contact, uh, please uh, welcome to uh, reach us and uh, we will help you to choose the, uh, the product, product. And uh, uh, for this one, we can show uh, there's a cost attentive for the cable redundant remote IO solutions. As you can see, they have the different uh, device layer, such as a uh, cable, uh, Equipment uh, marble IOs or the, the, the uh, different IOs. Um, from each IOs, they connect to the internet switch. So with the internet switch, they uh, could be uh, change chain with the ring. So one of the switch is broken down, they will go the other way to the information layer. So reduce the maintenance effort by keeping the controller in the main control room. And the other benefit is uh, cable redundancy by dual local LAN to enhance the system reliability. And uh, this is another application case study uh, for this one uh, because uh, each device uh, located in different floors. So uh, if you want to check uh, the each POC's uh, status, before you need to uh, go down to each floor to check uh, if PLC is uh, alive or is there is something wrong in the PLC. But uh, while you connect to the switch, we can co uh, connect uh, all the data, collect all the data through the switch uh, going to the uh, control room. So you can, um, uh, you can see the status in each PLC. So, uh, SI cannot help to maintain. Uh, SI can help to maintain the system all the times due to the human resource issues. So you can just uh, sit down uh, in the control room to check uh, what kind of the uh, status in the PLC. You don't need to uh, spend more manpower to go down each floors while while we see there is something wrong in one of the PLC. And uh, this is another story for the facility manager in hospital. The, uh, if you have the switch with the same cost as a PLC solution, but reduce lots of maintenance effort to rise up the system reliabilities, while you install the those switch instead of not install the switch. And the IT departments can handle this system without PLC knowledge and easily to modularize and function by uh, uh, duplicate in others project. So with the switch, because they have the same platforms, so uh, the with the same platforms uh, going to the information layer, so they can uh, easily maintain those uh, network and easily duplicate this, those uh, project to the other project. Uh, 
So the uh, at one UPS and HMI to ensure the system will work properly all the times. So uh, because uh, for this one, one UPS, uh, that means uh, you don't have, uh, while you have the power broke off, uh, broken down, so you have a uh, backup uh, power to sustain those, those networks uh, functionally. And this one uh, shows uh, what we have for the L2 switch portfolios. So you can see we have a port at least and to the 16 port from the fastener to the gigabit for a customer to choose uh, for uh, what do you need in the uh, application and the cost is very uh, suitable for you. And this one will be the L3 switch portfolio. Uh, we have said before, L3 and L2 is different is for the routing. So if you have more uh, application with the routing, so you better choose the L3 instead of L2. And then this is automation network architecture for the information layers. And then for the information layers, is important for the uh, customer uh, uh, to have the people to sit in the control room to watch them uh, to watch the network uh, status or machine status. So information layers uh, connectivity is the SCADA system uh, server solution for database or other. Um, Bremen's IT systems, they were going to this layer. And the, what the data comes from the, uh, is the uh, control layers uh, switch. So uh, in the uh, information layers, usually uh, you can choose the Cornish uh, Redmond switch because it is industrial robust design, wider te operating temperature, and uh, isolated redundant power input, and uh, up to the 10 gigs IT backbones network advanced cyber, cyber redundancy like MSR super chain and uh, ERPS harsh environment design. And uh, this is a uh, recommend portfolio and uh, we have the gigabit uh, going to the 10 gigs for you to have uh, more data in the uh, control room. And uh, this is a uh, factory automations. Uh, the case is uh, in the China, and uh, also they use the 5210G plus 2C, and the Jabbox 5630, and the GenNet 6582GF. And uh, you see there were the device layer, control layer, and the information layers. Corys has won the project by offering a complete solution that ensures effective operation of the entire factory asset. Using their multiple interface like LAN, DIAL, and CL Pros, the Jetbox compact computers were installed in small spaces in factory fields to collect data from various network equipment, such as uh, POCs, signal digital controlling device saving physical media courses. Working as a model, MOBUS RTU to the MOBUS uh, TCP gateways, they efficiently communicate data from the station to the upper level. For the Janet 5210G, switch have been chosen for the fiber ports, which allow communication and extend the data between different facility systems. They are located in wide uh, areas. And that's all uh, for my presentation. So thank you for listening. And I hope if you have any inquiries, uh, welcome to contact us. So thank you.